Hi everyone, my name is Gosia Walczak from Project Nays and today I would love to show you the revolution which is ombre via airbrush and UV gels polish. Amazing method which I find out in my salon absolutely necessary right now. Uh, this is my first video from a long, long time, but I plan to do them much more. Then if you will like that one, please subscribe, press the bell and like it. Oh, okay. Uh, for airbrush ombre with um, gel polish, uh, I'm using Clean and Prep from SPN. Clean and Prep from SPN, uh, which the main ingredient is, is isopropyl alcohol and the brand from uh, gel polish I'm using is SPN Nails and Nailac. Then please, I don't know if my method will work with your cleaner and your brand of uh, colors. I know this one worked with me absolutely fine, which, which I will show you in a minute, uh, but I don't know if that will, that will work with yours. Okay, should we start from uh, Ombre French, which, which lots of girls got a problem with, because always when you use, when we use a brush or sponge, you can see that small dot with the airbrush, the blending is absolutely amazing. I prepared my my tips with the colors just before that video. This is very natural for French, for uh, ombre French baby boomer. Uh, free, no, sorry, 734 Chica Chica from SPN. But first I need to add my clean and prep into the airbrush gun. Just like that and when we press the trigger nothing is coming off we need to pull the trigger back and then you can see the alcohol coming out okay I will just add a little bit more and of course for um, ombre French I will be using white color which is 502 my wedding dress from SPN and to mix them together, I'm using spatula, spatula. really something else than a brush from our bottle. Don't use the brush to mix it uh, together here, because then we will put the brush inside our gel polish and we can destroy it. How much amount? I've got no idea. After I will spray, spray, I will see if I need to add some more. I prefer to add more uh, because if we add, um, more, add more later, because this is what we always can do, if we add too much just on the, on the beginning, then we need to add some cleaner and it could really be more problematic. But like now, it's absolutely easy, quick, because in the salon we need the quick way to do the ombre. I think ombre is perfect for every season in the year. Okie dokie. First, always check it on the um, glove and you can see straight away the color is coming out from the... Uh, airbrush gun and now we can start to do it on our nail the first layer is very misty really not that much visible uh, but it need to be like this because we need that perfect shading between those two colors and now I think it's a little bit visible for you really 10 seconds it more than enough um, to cure it up because there is tiny bit of um, 
gel polish there, more it was the um, alcohol which evaporate. This was our first la uh, layer. And now second one. And again, very misty. Look how quick it is. Five uh, fingers, nails, and lamp, 10 seconds. In that time we can do uh, another hand. You can cure it, if you are not sure that your lamp is strong enough, you can cure it for 30 second, seconds, because anyway, in that 30 seconds, you will do uh, another hand. Also, do not, uh, before you start airbrushing, you need to cover your uh, client critical area with the latex, latex liquid. Show you that how it works. This one it's pink, it could be clear, it could be different. And when that dries, you can just remove it as latex. I'll show you in a minute. Remember, before you start, because we don't want to spray all around the cuticle, then our customer will cure it up and then mm, that's such not a good idea. And this is how that looks. Another layer. Look, this is this start to look so good. Look at this. Look at that blending. Always with the sponge, there's that dots which makes my life miserable. Can you see those? Nearly dry it up. Yeah, ten seconds. And I will just do the end of the nail, just to make it more white. And also here we don't need to worry that something will fall off, you know, run off of our cuticle or nails because there's so thin. Look at it all. You can see the shading here much better. Okay, let me to cure this up. I'm so excited. I love this method, really. I'm not using any other method now in my salon with my clients. Look, this one dried up. And this is how we can remove it. Um, let me just show you with the other tool. Look, that's why we call it with latex because now it's like a rubber and when we put all this um, liquid latex around the cuticles after we finish we can just remove it and all our cuticles are nice and clean okay cured imagine this after top coat i will top coat it after i finish other colors but look at this oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah Okay, uh, and now something more difficult, which is neon pink, dark color, and I will do also white ombre on it. Again, start on the, because I st I've got still a lot inside my brush, uh, my airbrush. Start on the glove, and again, first layer, very, very misty. Wait because I can see some some black hairs there well you just always you know some hairs dust don't worry we can wipe it make it nice and clean and again first layer very very misty nearly no not visible you see and cure it. Oh my gosh. Can you see how easy it is? Just spray it, misty, lamp. Few seconds, done it. Another layer. You can see it's going more white and the blending, it will be absolutely perfect. 
okay lamp 10 seconds 30 seconds in that time another another hand to girls who's got already the airbrush i will tell you this is not a good idea to use same airbrush for uv mm, gel gels polish and for airbrush paints i would recommend you to have got two airbrushes if you want to use uh, both met methods and third layer just the tip of the nail look at this and even after top coat you will see that uh, blending much more mm, i will add just a little bit more on just on the end to make it more white but it's up to my client really if she will like to have light shading then it's i won't add the third layer fourth layer sorry look at this um, love it okay done it we finish with white and we've got that much so, so much in, inside the airbrush we need to pour it out and clean it and how we can do it pour it out spray it out clean the rest from the cup pour some alcohol in our cleaner and make it bubbles how to make it bubbles hold here and spray it really and again pour it out spray it out just need to clean a little bit of the cup and look inside can, if we can see some white uh, leftovers after our um, gel polish. One more time. And I think that's absolutely nice and clean now. This one out and after top coat oh have a look this okay next color <laughs> leave this for now uh, one of the i think uh, one of the most popular uh, ombres in the salons is blue and pink this is what i noticed lots of photos uh, on instagram facebook with ombre blue and pink uh, this is pastel blue from SPN and this is 926 Sea and Salt. And I will mix it together, of course, with the cleaner. And my pink will be 927 Kiss Me from SPN Nails. And again, let me to show you here. Color inside mix it it should take takes you really a couple of minutes when you're uh, you know when you put your customer this is so quick method and really it's quick and perfect okay i will clean my spatula Close the color and start to spray. Again, first glove, and I can see even that pinky color on my glove, and then nail. Same, very misty first color, but with the pink, it's already visible. Cure. Guys, this is very important. The first color, even you can't see it that much, cure it. Because the first layer give us that um, give us that nice blending between two colors. Of course, you can add third color on the end. 
and, uh, and the second layer Amazing, perfect, absolutely perfect blending. And I think the third layer will be in the, our last one. Just the tip of the nail. Look at this. It's very light here. Yeah, cure it. And of course, again, I will show you this after I top coat it. We need to change the color for our last ombre, which I will show you today. Same, uh, same like before. Pour it out, spray it out, bubble, make a bubbles and make it sure it's nice and clean inside without any leftovers from the color. Uh, our Fourth ombre, fourth, fourth, uh, yeah, fourth ombre, fourth tip. It will be, I think, one of the most um, difficult one, which is red and black. Uh, let me know in the comments if you ever try to do a red and uh, black ombre with the sponge or with the airbrush. Uh, no airbrush, sorry, with the bra ombre brush. And how that goes because I couldn't do it in that perfect way like with the airbrush let me to show you because you will be shocked absolutely this is one of my favorite uh, ombre now the combination of um, red and black color it's it's not really easy one to make it nice. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice and thin now because I can't see it on my uh, on my lint free wipe. Okay, spray it out, pour it. Okay. And now uh, I already prepared red tip with 666 from SP and Sylvia and what I said black yeah 503 black tulip from SPN and again pour it in take some color from the bottle I'll show you this here now and mix it I will wipe it out of this and I will add a little bit more. close my bottle and check the color on the glove first if I can see anything bubbles a little bit too mixed yeah and with this um, combination it need to be very misty that both two uh, uh, bo first two layers that first very misty that it's really not visible but we need that perfect blending between those uh, two colors red and black look it's i think on the camera it's not visible here it's like something tiny different shape but this is really what we want excited two one and now another layer mm -hmm. 
it starts to be visible something, but you know what? Because it's can you, you can see now. Yes, I will do that second layer, cure it, and I will add some more black now uh, to the airbrush. Again with the spatula and mix it together because uh, I see it's not black enough. Lock again. We'll see if it's enough. Third layer. Yes, it starts to be darker. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the shading. Have a look on this. It's still not black on the end, but it starts to be really nice maybe here here you can see it's more more dark than on the other camera cure it and we'll add some more layers in that while time that time 10 seconds i'll just clean it after myself and again It's really much more better than on the camera. Cure it. On the end of that video, I will make it a very nice photo for you. Um, after, of course, I will top coat it. Very, it will be very close photo to that ombre for the um, where the shading is. That for you to see how nice that blends together. Okay, another one, another layer just on the end of the tip I just want you to see it really try the um, that combination of these colors and let me know how that goes yeah if you like that video if that was helpful uh, of course subscribe also, like our Facebook page, which is Project Naves UK, and Instagram Project Naves UK also for, you know, some more tips. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yes, you can see it now. Can you see it here? Look at this blending. Okay, I will top coat it now. Mm, close this one. You see, uh, this is the really good thing with the uh, cleaner and the gel polish because I didn't clean it yet. I will put this on the side. It won't dry so quick. I've got that few hours to clean it, but not, then I can top coat it. I can finish my client, leave it this on the side because I don't want to clean this just when I've got a client in front of me. I would like to leave it on the side, finish my client, and then when I have time, clean it. And now I will, I will top coat one, uh, one uh, tip in front of the camera and then I will just do it the rest. I don't want to lose, to take more of your time. Uh, the top coat I'm using, it's 003 uh, nail act um, somewhere here. Can you see it? The focus, focus, come on. Yeah. Look at that ombre. Can you see it? You can see now. I just take that light away because of this one. Look at that blending. Okay, I need to put it into the lamp because it's, it will run off. 30 seconds. 
And now our top coat rest of my nails will make nice photo for you. And I hope you enjoy it. Bye.